How's it going, everybody? It is CCM live, and it is so live right now. So live, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. My name is Marcus. I am your humble host. Excited to be here. Hey, my mom's here. Look, she says hi. Hi, mom. Uh, nice to see all of you guys. Hey, do me a favor. Some uh, A great way to start off the show is to start off with all of your friends. So hit that share button. Look, it says share now. Uh, and invite more people. You can hit share and just post it to your page. You can hit share. You can scroll down and go find individual people to bring, and uh, and that's that's the best way to go. So do that now. Awesome. Um, so I am uh, right now in the middle of the woods in McCall, Idaho. Uh, my family's just taking a weekend, and we are. Uh, so that's why my background's different. It's not like a new backdrop or anything. It's just. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's legitimately a cabin. So uh, if my internet's weird, you're just going to have to listen to Holly because uh, she'll, she'll she's why you're here anyway, right? Uh, so, <laughs> hey, as always, I'm looking for your questions. I'm looking for your comments. And uh, always love love seeing what you you ask us. But I'm just going to jump right in. It's uh, I'm, I'm stoked to do this. My guest is a good friend of mine, one of the hardest working independent artists in Christian music today. And she's released a number of albums and singles over the years, including uh, the new song, Talk It Out. It's so good. But I'm, I'm also still bumping to her latest project, Human. And uh, it's all awesome stuff. Joining live from the Emerald City, it's Holly Starr. <laughs> hey, what's up, Marcus? <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me today. Oh man, it's so awesome. Um, you know what's 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 so cool is um, like seeing in uh, in my Facebook feed uh, that you you had a show uh, a few days ago, and now you're you're spending some uh, some great time with uh, your husband Chris, who uh, just had a birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, he, he did. We are <laughs> yeah, over in Seattle. It's been awesome. And you went to the zoo? Is that what you're telling yes, me? Yes, we, we did today. We, we walked all around the Woodland Park Zoo. And wow, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I've done that in a while. <laughs> but it was so much fun. It was like, oh, these animals are crazy looking. And it was fun. Yeah. I haven't been to a zoo in a while, but a few minutes ago, two deer just walked by. So it, as long as a bear doesn't walk by, I, I'll be happy with whatever wildlife yeah, yeah, <laughs> crosses right. my path anyway. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He has an affinity for zoos. So we're like, hey, we're home. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, hello, Nate. He says hi. Hi. What's up, Nate? Uh, oh, um, what? My, my mom asks every week about if you have a dog or not do you have a dog but she's asking <laughs> did you buy a dog i don't understand why no i i don't have a dog but i love dogs all right so. there you go did you have dogs growing up <laughs> yes i did touring doesn't really work well with dogs no nope. i have a cat so <laughs> yeah i have a cat-sized dog and that, that works quite <laughs> That's so awesome. 
<laughs> something we ask everybody to do at the beginning of the show is to pick something around you. Now, normally people are at home or in a part of their home or in a tour bus or something like that, where they have something around them that is, you know, familiar to them. But this, so this will be an extra challenge. You yeah. have to pick something in your immediate vic vicinity that tells us okay. more about you. Oh, well, I'm in a hotel room. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I spend, I spend a lot of nights in hotel rooms. So oh. this is actually pretty, pretty comfortable for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have any like special tips, like since you've had to travel so much, like, do you have, are you the person that never unpacks their bag? Like you keep your bag packed? Like, do you have any yes. tips, like hotel tips? Yeah. I, well, you know, as a girl, you have like makeup and all sorts of yeah. random little accessory things. So like when I'm, when I'm traveling and when I'm home, they're always in the same bag. I like never unpack it. So never unpack it easier. It. Yeah. Even when I'm home, I leave it in, wow. the, they're, they're organized in these little bags. So even when I'm home, I'll take them out of this one bag, use them, put them back. You know? <laughs> it's your go bag. Yeah. It's like, That's oh, awesome. I don't want to have to go through a checklist in my head of remembering all these little things every single time. So <laughs> why not? Well, <laughs> well it, it's so good to hear from you. It's so good to see what, uh, that, that you've got a new single, that you're back singing. Um, you, Thank you've you. been off the road. You've been in a, in a different season with, uh, with like health stuff and with, um, yeah. you know, just, surgeries and stuff like that. What, what's been going on? Yeah. So the long, I have a, a long story made short is since I was young, I've had like structural, structural issues in my sinuses. So when I was uh, like 14, I had my first surgery to kind of correct some of that and it caused a lot of scarring. And so essentially it didn't fix it. It just kind of left it what it was. Oh, so I, I, the tendency is that I get really sick um, quite often. Like so sinus like, infections, like yeah. the worst feeling yes. in the world. <laughs> yeah. Just stabbing pain. Yeah. It's like, I can live with it pretty much, but I was getting sick so often, especially the last like three or four years. So last year I ended up having a second surgery just to try to fix some of that scarring from the first surgery and it didn't work. And so this year we were like, okay, we just have to do it again to see if it'll work. But I was referred oh. to a specialist in Seattle and um, they did it again, and we just prayed a ton and had a lot of people praying with us. And, and I'm just so relieved because the last follow-up I had, there's no scarring. Wow. So we're just like, I mean, it's a miracle, really, because I've never Ugh. never had this much clarity in my sinuses in all my life. So it's kind of oh a new, new experience. So hopefully that will give yeah. some new life to touring this year because last, last couple years have been pretty tough with that. So, so, like, how often would you get sick? Oh, I mean, from – Essentially, from when the fall hit all the way through like February. So the entire time. cold and flu season, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that so, is and, awful. You know, I've been like, I mean, in one way, I was used to it because it just happened a lot throughout my life. But then, the la because I've been touring more and more every year, you just you notice it more when you're on stage and you're coughing and you're like, I can't, I can't do this. It just started getting under my nerves yeah. a lot more. So I was like, we got to figure this out so I can keep keep doing this. So. Oh man. Well. Yeah. I just can't imagine recovering from the same surgery three times. That's just oh yeah, it was. Awful. I was like really having to pray about it because I was like, God, last year's recovery was the worst of all three of them, and so I was anticipating that again this year. And thankfully, oh, the man. the way that recovery went, it was much better. So I'm I'm grateful for that. Man. Yeah. So then, in addition, you you had some like stomach things going on. Is that right? Yeah. Um, it's just been a weird Gosh, year. Yeah. All at once. <laughs> yes. That one's still a little bit of a mystery because they, I did, I got an endo endoscopy and they didn't find anything. Um, but when I, in July I was on tour and I woke up in the middle of the night with just sh sharp stabbing pains in my stomach and followed by like this dull ache. Anyway, long story short, it was like, they diagnosed me with something called gastritis, which is like irritation of the stomach lining which could be just simple irritation. It could have been like an ulcer, you know, but I was on tour and I couldn't get home to my primary doctor. So I changed my diet and just tried to like uh, eat, pr eat right and take the medicine they gave me and it eventually kind of calmed down. So who knows? Hopefully it doesn't happen again. It was miserable and, and nothing I would hope for anyone, but we're through that now. So we'll see. I was muting because there's like a giant RV like that's pulling in like at this moment. It's <laughs> yeah. great. Uh, awesome. but at least they didn't have the backup beep. So that's yeah. that's great. This is, yeah. this is like camp, camping life right now. It's, that's it's awesome. amazing. 
So, uh, so, but in this, how long were you off the road? Like how long were you, did you have to be in like a season of rest? Well, so July, I was actually on tour all the whole month of July and, and my stomach thing happened while I was on tour. So I actually just had to cancel the show and then we had a few days off. And so thankfully I was able to get through the rest of the shows, but it was just like, I couldn't visit with fans afterwards, that sort of thing. Cause it was hurting, but, um, got home from that and the surgery was in August. So I, I think it was mid August through mid September that I technically took a full month off and then I had a show after that. Um, but yeah, so it was, was it, was it hard like to, 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 to slow down, to be still like, what, what are some things that, you know, that God was speaking to you and, and some things you were working through during that yeah. time? Well, yeah, slowing down is definitely really hard for me. I, I have this thing with anxiety that just kind of always is there. And so slowing down can be like a threat to that. Like you can't do anything, you know, not, nothing's going to keep moving forward if you don't do work. But when you're out of commission yeah. with your health, it's like you don't really have a choice. <laughs> so God's definitely been teaching me a lot about just like realizing that I don't have to live a hurried life. And if I slow down, like life's not going to fall apart. It's, it's okay. So I, the last year, really, I feel like he's been teaching me a lot about Sabbath and just what it means to carve out time intentionally for rest. And I think, uh, I might not have been doing that enough. So (laughs) here we are. This is a good, good lesson in learning to really slow down for a while. Well, you had your first concert back, like I said, on Monday, was it Monday? Yeah. Monday Monday night. Mm Mm-hmm. So what was that like for you physically, emotionally, spiritually, all the above to yeah. be out there again? Was it was it different than you thought it would be? Was it old hat? Um, in ways, both. So it, I, I was opening for Sean McDonald, which he's one of my favorite yes. artists. So that was just fun in itself to see him. He, early on in my career, he, he gave me some, some opportunities to open for him and just connected me to, to some of his friends in the industry. So I have a lot of respect for him in a lot of different ways, not, not to mention his lifestyle is just just awesome. But, um, he, so I opened for him. That was great. Um, my voice was just tired. Like you might even hear it now as I'm talking, it just gets tired a little bit more easily, but um, it's just your rock background. That's yeah, all. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just catching up with you. The rock, yeah, right. the rock stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> it was really fun though. It's like whenever you get off the road for a long time and then you finally get back on, you're like, I love this. What, what was I yeah. doing not being on the road this last month? So it was really fun. <laughs> the routine of it all is just like really inv- invigorating for me. Oh, that's so. awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad it was a positive experience in that. Yeah. And and that it it, you know, your post said something like, uh, "See see what I sound like." Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really was like my resonance in my nose or in my sinuses is like different in ways. So that was kind of weird. Like especially in some songs where I'm singing in my head voice, it was like, yeah. this, it feels louder. And I'm like, is this just in my head or is this real from the surgery? I don't know. Did you Still gain a few, a few more notes? You gained I some high notes? I didn't notice, but hey, why not? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So you've got the new song, Talk It Out. It's so good. You're of course Thank working with you. Matthew Parker again, and you've teamed yeah. up with Beacon Light. Yes. Uh, where, where'd this song come from? Well, we were sitting in the studio. Well, technically, it was in our one of our bedrooms at our house, but it's the studio. Um, and <laughs> Matthew was over, and we were recording, writing and recording. And we were just like, hey, we should write a song about a struggle in marriage, because that's really relatable. Like, that's the season we're in. And, um, and just kind of toyed around with what directions we could go, and it came, we came up with Talk It Out. So Chris and I are really passionate, personally, about communication and just, like, that the value that that is to any relationship marriage marriage is what we're looking at currently. And so that's why it came out in that song, but um, just the importance of being able to be vulnerable with the way you're feeling and thinking. And and that, that creates a uh, confidence between you and the other person and uh, uh, trustworthiness. I don't know. I just, I love it. So yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Good. It's a good lesson. You know, it's a good, it's, it's a, a teaching song, you know, for sure. Uh, I hope that. I hope that for sure. M- Matthew Parker, of course, is, is somebody that you guys, I mean, you guys have just really hit it off. You're working together. You're, you're, uh, you know, you're on his new album that's coming. He of course produced human. Uh, yeah. Is he, what, what is, what has he meant to, to this current stage of, of Holly star music? 
Oh my gosh. Everything. I mean, you can hear his, his influence on the project everywhere. I mean, yeah. he's, he's so skilled as a producer and a melody writer and a lyricist. I mean, there's just like, he's all over it. Um, and I think he, he's just really, I love that he can come into the room with me and say, Hey Holly, what do you feel like writing about? And I'm really big on concept. Like I want to write a song about marriage or I want to write a song about um, my anxiety or, you know, whatever it is. And he's just super good at saying, okay, let's, how can we creatively attack that and go and, you know, this way or that way. And he'll, yeah. he'll lay down the, the beat and I don't do produ- production at all. So like for me to be in a room with somebody who can do that extremely well, it brings a lot of energy to the process of writing. So, and he's yeah. just super fun. I mean, he's young and he's hilarious and just, Lots of lots of fun moments when we're writing, so that makes it even better. Uh, he's one of the most underrated artists in for sure in, in the Christian music sphere, for sure. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. and uh, I can't wait to see what what his new album's going to do. We're going to get him on here sometime in in yeah. October. It's it's going to awesome. happen. But yeah. what? Uh, so speaking of your sound, which of course he's had a big hand in, you've mm-hmm. gone from from rock to contemporary, and now for sure it's it's a pop thing yeah talk, talk about your like your musical progression For and sure. and some and some things that you you still are wanting to do musically yeah well I I love bringing something new something fresh I'm an independent artist so that's part of the beauty of it is you can yes. do whatever you want and so it's been a journey it's like when I first started I I mean I still like I said I'm not a producer so it's, it's a journey of finding the right producer for you that, that you enjoy working with. And yeah. I've enjoyed all the producers that I've worked with in the past. Um, but every season, it's like, it's a new season. It's like, I want to, like the last album I released, um, Everything I Need, I felt really, really sure of myself that I wanted something to have a worship kind of aim, aim for it. Yeah. Um, and this one, I didn't feel God impressing that as much on my heart, but I was in a season of more... Pat, like wanting to bring back into my career and my artistry just the storytelling element and just saying, mm-hmm. hey, this is this is like part of real life for me. Like if you go back to my first albums, you'll hear a lot more of that type of writing. And that's what yeah. I tend to be more strong at um, naturally. So that's kind of where this one came from. And I don't know, I think in the future, I'd like to do like a hymn project or something like yeah, that. Like, cool. you know, it's like not... So the journey of like going from one thing to another probably isn't over. <laughs> Would you but, ever do country? That's the- Oh, my grandma wants me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like a farmer's that, daughter. So that's... I'd be like, <laughs> but I don't know if it's really my thing. We'll see. <laughs> it's, it's not my thing. I mean, you know, yeah. you know, we're friends and I, I love you guys, but I don't know if I could listen to a country. Yeah. Hey, that's anymore. all right. That's so, I, just, I, 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 no, I would. Chris, Chris is not in favor of it. So okay, good. Probably, good. Probably, probably good, probably good. good. <laughs> um, I've got some questions from people who are watching and uh, uh, I think his name's Dylan. You're going to have to tell me if I keep mispronouncing this name. Okay, buddy. Uh, but he says, will you tour internationally? Have you toured internationally before? A little, a little bit, but um, so little that I don't know if I can really say that I have, but yeah, I definitely would. I'd love, I love traveling. I love, I mean, my, I have family in Israel, so I did, um, one trip over there with our my home church led worship for their tour, went to Costa Rica and Peru for another missions organization and did some of that. Which so it's really fun, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. And he his follow up question is, what's your most embarrassing moment on stage? Oh, I'm yes. I'm excited to hear this one. <laughs> this question always gets asked on live videos. I don't know. I what's know. Going on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but um, I actually. Had a very memorable moment early on. I was performing um, at a, a school in Wisconsin. Uh, we were releasing a music video that I filmed at that school, actually. And so it was like the premiere event. And it was like in a performing arts center. They had like a spotlight on me. And they, I was talking about the song. I turned the spotlight off and then they were going to show the video. So I was supposed to walk off stage. Well, um, I couldn't see <laughs> when they turned the light off. And the the stairs leading up to <laughs> oh, the God. stage were like in de- into the stage, so I just walked right off the stage and oh, fell no. into the stairs. Like hit my finger, and it was like swelling up. And I had a, a uh, the microphone was still on, and I was like, "Ouch!" And so like the whole crowd <laughs> heard it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so that was kind of embarrassing. I, I don't <laughs> I don't even think I addressed it with the crowd. I just kind of. Yeah, like, I <laughs> I mean, so. 
Yeah. It's, it, so this was after you were done? This was, yeah, I finished talking and it was like a very oh. serious talk. And <laughs> then I get, and I like fall off the stage and everybody can oh, hear it. I was wearing this no. white dress and it like yeah. poofed up. So there was like, oh, so <laughs> people sorry. said that they heard this, they saw this big white like thing go up. <laughs> 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 heard my voice on the speaker like, oh, oh no. <laughs> so it was uh, Casey wants to know what your favorite book in the Bible is and why, but I, 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 I like to take that question, which is often asked, and say, really, what's what's God speaking to you in the Word like lately? Yeah, for sure. Well, I am reading the Bible in a year for the first time right now with wow, my family, nice. and it is intense, I'll tell you that. It's like crazy, but I'm just, I'm so grateful for the time to do it and the okay. accountability with that. Like, we're doing it through the Bible app and, like, yeah, it's like, cool. you know, everybody's doing it and we're going through it. So anyway, I'm learning lots about context, which has been really, really cool to just say, hey, yeah, this is I've cool. heard this verse a ton of times in my life. And actually now I'm seeing the context in which it's placed and it ma- yeah. means even more, you know, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, the um, the 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 winter, I'm sorry, the winter, the summer is I, I said winter because I saw Nate's neighbors over. Uh, you're back, obviously, uh, you know, singing again. What what does the rest of 2018 and uh, beginning of 2019 look like yeah. for you guys? Well, October, November, we have some shows, um, a couple of one-offs here and there. And then we do we kick off our Christmas tour. I do like an annual Christmas tour awesome. in the for the whole month of December. So like December 1st or even like November 29th, we'll head out and head down the West Coast and I think, yeah. Are you coming to Boise, California. though? Uh, no, but we're playing in Caldwell. All right. It's close. That is, um, it's close enough. Fairly, how close is that? Anyway, it's like... It's like 30 minutes away. 30 minutes. That's what I thought, yeah. yeah. So we're playing there. Um, right. I'll be there. I don't remember which date it is off the top of my head, but we'll be there in the next few months because <laughs> awesome. January, January we'll be going back out again. So it's going to be like December. We'll be really busy. We'll come home for like the week of Christmas, and then we'll be back out down in... Oh yeah, January thirtieth we'll be in Caldwell. Nice. Okay. So yeah. does uh, does Chris get to still tour with you for the most part? Yes. Like, yeah. Like all he's, the time now. All the time. Yep. That's all awesome. the time. Yeah, he's my bass player full time. And if we're at a, a venue or a situation where acoustics better, then he runs sound. Wait, so. he's back to playing bass with you again? I yes. did not know this. Yes. This is how it all started. It, you gotta come, man. It's the best. This it's is, so it's, awesome. Man, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know Timothy R- Robertstad, but he wants to know if you can yodel. Uh, no, I, I can't yodel. Uh, is that just random, or do you know this guy? I don't know this guy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe I do if I do. I'm totally sorry. Totally random, me. Timothy. <laughs> I like the question, though. It's gutsy. Uh, Nate wants to know, he said, have you ever played on tour with any big artists? And yes, yes. you you. You have shared the stage with many people. Uh, um, who, are, who are some of the ones that have really poured into you? Well, Sean McDonald is one, obviously. Um, yeah. But I did last year. I did like a month, a full month with Jackie Velasquez, which was right. really, really fun. Um, she's just got lots of history and like <laughs> lots of advice. Like just watching her do her thing is just inspiring. Um, but then I've done a lot of festivals, so not so much like tours, but. Lots of summer festivals with anyone you could think of are pretty much yeah. there. So awesome. Yeah. So you've got the new single, Talk It Out. What what about what else for new music is, is coming? Are you are you actively recording? Are you doing singles at a time? What's what's going yeah. on? Yeah. So October twelfth, um, we will be releasing a deluxe edition of Human, the album. Yeah. So that there'll be three new songs on that. Um, two of them which are already released, the human remix and then um, talk it out and then there's going to be one more song called i don't know that's coming you um, don't know what it's called yeah it's something like that <laughs> <laughs> called i don't know yeah i don't know i don't know <laughs> idk <laughs> so, what yeah. song what song are you going to play tonight i don't know <laughs> so you said yeah. <laughs> awesome so uh so you're not in you're not in uh in new new uh album cycle mode just yet because human human is still there's still a lot to be yeah. Mind, mind from it. For, for sure. sure. Yeah. We're gonna, definitely going to keep on going with this album for a while. Um, do We'll do the remix and then, or sorry, the deluxe edition and then um, maybe release some more re- remixes. We'll see. Yeah. 
We'll see how that goes. You happen to know a great remixer. Are you and Matthew <laughs> ever going to go on tour together? I hope so. I would love that. It would be way too much fun. Dangerously fun. <laughs> Has he talked about it? Um, we haven't. Well, we've talked about it a little bit, but we've been so in the studio mode when we get together that yeah. we haven't talked about touring as much. But me and uh, Chris have definitely talked about it. <laughs> nice. Well, that, that would be amazing. Well, yeah. um, I guess finally, in, in conclusion, how can all of us be praying for you, you and Chris and, and your team? Um... Well, I mean, health stuff is still, you know, it, it's that's still a appreciated prayer request just because the winter is just the hardest. Even if you're not, even if you don't have sinus issues like I do, like it just goes around in this time of year. So that makes it hard for us on the road. Um, so just health. Uh, I would say in uh, November, I'm actually going to be releasing a video for another part of the ministry that I'm um, launching, which is... I'm really excited about it's a, a necklace that I've been making long story short. I have a big passion for widows and, um, God's been, been, uh, inviting me. I feel like to continue that in, in my concert and share that with people and the ways that, that I've been learning about the importance of caring for widows through my grandma's life and just seeing, I don't know, it's a long story that I can, I could share all about right now, but the video is going to capture it so much better. Um, and that's coming in in November. So prayer for the release of that. Is it an organization that you have? I mean, well, it's a, it's not an organization technically, but it's just a, it's a one piece of jewelry called the S necklace. Um, and it symbolizes just trusting God. Um, but I've made it kind of a part of what I do in that it's kind of like a moment in my concert where I say, yes. hey, like, we need to say yes to God. We need to trust him. Um, this is an invitation to you to do that. But it's also an invitation for you to take one of these necklaces and reach out to somebody else and invite yeah. them to say yes, but also encourage them, specifically widows. That they're not alone um, in their season of loss. I think those are the seasons that can be the hardest to say yes to God to. And so, so yeah. So this is launching um, yeah. in a deeper way in November with this video that you're doing. Yes. Yep. Video. Awesome. It'll have its own website and everything. So I'm really excited about it. But, well, cool. Well, yeah. uh, if you guys are watching now or later, it all works the same. We're going to pray for Holly and uh, let's do that. Lord, thank you so much for, uh, for this new season, for pulling Holly through, uh, through these difficult times, health wise, God, through, uh, through three surgeries um, by removing scar tissue and by uh, by clearing things up in a way that seemed absolutely impossible, we thank you so much for that, God, and, mm-hmm. and also for dealing with her stomach issues, Lord, and and for so many of of the hindrances that have uh, that she's had to battle through in the midst of of doing what you've called her to do. Um, God, we just uh, we pray for continued. Uh, improvement, continued um, strength and healing and and a state of rest and a state of, of general health as uh, she gets back to it. And mm-hmm. Lord, we just, uh, we pray that you'd continue to uh, inspire her and bring, bring those songs that, um, that are, that come directly from what you're teaching her, Lord, let this, uh, this new one, talk it out. Um, encourage couples and and uh, and marriages in their in their communication, Lord. We also just um, we just pray for the next season, um, whether it's just the handful of new songs, whether it's um, the album that's already out, or especially this uh, new focus and uh, attention to widows and their and and their distress and and their needs, Lord. We just pray that um, that many would be captured by the heart that you have for them uh, through what Holly's doing. God, we just uh, thank you for Chris as well and that they're able to be on the road together. We thank you for his birthday. And <laughs> Lord, we just pray that, um, that you, you would you continue to um, make just an incredible testimony um, to that all can see from, from their marriage and from the things that uh, they're able to do for you together. And we just pray all this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, my mom always types amen. That's nice. Yes. Thanks mom, for listening. <laughs> Patrick says hey. And What's up, uh, Patrick? 
and He's Mary, yeah. Mary my friend that Mary's that? Is, I would so go to a Holly Star and Matthew Parker oh, show. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to make it happen. I'll talk. To, I'll talk to Matthew. I'll make. I got this. Let's, I got let me, this. let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> awesome. Well, the new song is "Talk It Out." Uh, of course, you can find it where you get music now, or you can wait a little bit for uh, for the deluxe edition of Human. I can't believe as awesome and as big of an album as human is that you're going to give us more stuff. So oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, so wherever you get music, go find it. And, uh, and then you have to check out hollystar.com. Yes. That's what Hollystar music. Yep. Music. Hollystar that's right. Music. Hollystar music. I'm typing it right here. Holly star music. Oh, it's not letting me type it.com. And uh, that's where you can find out where she's coming because you know, a lot of people go, when are you coming to, Fill in the blank. There you go. Hollystarmusic.com. Yeah. And uh, check it out. And man, I got to see your Christmas show someday. I'm, oh, I'm already so fun. I'm oh. already getting excited about Christmas. Yeah. It's going to snow here. I'm probably going to put on a, a Santa hat and dance yeah. around. It's going to be it's, wonderful. It's, we go all out. It's a pretty fun Christmas show. I'm, awesome. I'm telling you. <laughs> all right. Check out that site to find out where she's coming. And thanks for the time. Thanks for doing yeah, this. Thanks for having me, this Marcus. Was, this was yeah. awesome. And, yeah. and thanks for enduring bus sounds and, oh. uh, and whatever else was going on over here. I'm going to get back to good. dodging bears and uh <laughs> <laughs> and you get back to the birthday celebration all right we'll see you okay. good to see you guys all right see ya. okay bye all right everyone that's what we've got hopefully uh hopefully you're able to uh uh to go check out that song and uh and learn more about holly if you if you haven't already uh she's awesome great friend great artist and like matthew parker uh she's been around a long time and uh and still to, I still feel like more people have to know what she's doing. So go check her out. Uh, it's going to be a big week next week. We've got gospel artist Shana Wilson-Williams. Uh, she's amazing gospel artist. Um, super anointed. Man, I, last time I interviewed her, she did the song It's in the Room. Just blew me away. And then uh, rocker Zana, uh, who's on Rockfest Records. Uh, she's just uh, She's just killing it in the rock world. Uh, the what, the new voice of rock in Christian music, and uh, she's going to be here with us. And then Blanca will be here on Wednesday. So we're doing a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. The, it's a really simple reason. It's uh, because my son's birthday is next Thursday, and I'm not doing the show on his birthday. We're going to go like bowling or something. I don't know. But we're going to do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, at the same time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So we will see you then. All right? Have a great rest of your week.